Hello YouTube fans, thank you for joining me today and welcome to my channel. I will be doing a reading for you today as the title suggested on your either ancestor or deceased loved one, bringing in a message from them. And I'm going to be shuffling some cards as I speak, so bear with me please. I like to take um, jumpers, so this may take a minute. <clears throat> Let me just get started here. Also, if you would be so kind as to hit that like button or subscribe, I'm very grateful and that helps tell YouTube to send this, okay, thank you, um, that other people might enjoy this content and therefore it's YouTube sends it to a broader audience and it's more likely to reach the family members that this message is meant for, so it helps it's a win-win, in other words, it helps, it helps us all, and I'm very grateful for those of you who do. Alrighty, uh, now I have a lady coming through, a young woman coming through today, and for those of you who, whoop, hold on, about to drop my deck here. Um, they're, they're showing me an image, let me, let me stop one second while I capture this. I like to watch uh, like period mystery shows uh, like on BritBox and you know British kind of mystery TV shows and I like the, the, the older ones you know the Agatha Christie ones and the Poirot and the Sherlock Holmes and then the, then moving forward you know the into some of the I'm not, I shouldn't be naming these I guess I might get in trouble for that but anyway the point is they're showing me a scene that I probably saw in one of those TV shows um, but it's a young woman sitting in a boat and the reason I bring that up is because this this particular boat is one that I've seen in pictures of in Europe but not here in the United States where I am. And so it's just, it's drawing me to that part of the world because of the kind of boat that I'm seeing. And it's a wooden uh, rowboat of sorts, not, not a um, canoe, but a wooden rowboat with oars on both sides. Like you would, you could sit in it by yourself and row it by yourself, but it was big enough for two people. Some could, one could sit in the front and someone could sit in the, in the other seat. Um, and anyway, that's the description of the boat. And she's showing me that she used to love to row. That's what she keeps saying. I love to row. I love to row. But what she would like to do is go out and, and take the boat out into this small lake that this, this is this, what the picture she's showing me is the small lake where she would row. You know, the water was very calm. And she would take the oars in and lay back and just sit and look up at the sky and look up at the um, clouds. And, you know, sometimes she would even nap. And um, it just, that was her kind of place of ecstasy. That was her, her safe place, her fun place, her place to go to, you know, where she wanted to escape or she wanted to just find peace. It, it just feels very peaceful and serene when I tune into that energy. And she's showing me this because the person this message is, is for today was for another young woman who would occasionally go with her on these boat rides. Now, I get the feeling, and, and this is a little confusing for me, I'll admit, as a reader. She was showing me two young women, and then she fast forwards to an older woman and when I say older, you know, 70 or 80 at least. Uh, and I feel, I'm, I'm a little conflicted here. At first I thought she was telling me that this older lady was her relative, the one who was living here, and that's who this message is for. And, now, and I will say it could be the case. <clears throat> but what I'm feeling more so is she's showing me a timeline jump. So I feel like this young woman died quite some time ago. And the message is for her companion who used to ride in the boat. This could have been your sister, it feels to me like, but if not, you were very close 
very close friends like a sister would be and that you would ride in the boat with her. But she's saying many times she would ask you to go and you would always say, no, I have to study. I have to study. It, it's giving me the vibe of you were both in school somewhere together, maybe college or maybe a girl's school or something, but that you, you both were in school, but um, you, speaking to the viewer here, you took your studies very seriously and you had a goal in mind and you had almost beyond a goal, like a mission of something you wanted to accomplish academically. And that was your primary focus. And, you know, you just didn't have time for that. You didn't have time to go row in the, in the rowboat and look up at the sky. And, uh, and that she showed me that oftentimes you, you said no, but because of that, because you were more focused on your studies. So, <clears throat> oh, let me continue shuffling. She is not showing me particularly anything about her death, although it could could have been automobile related now that I'm yeah it could have been automobile related uh, yes could have been um, but she's not wanting to focus on that you know oftentimes when they come back they don't they just they much rather you focus on how they lived and not how they died so she's really not wanting me to go there uh, but she's, she's coming through to talk to you, th this living person now that you, I believe you are older in life. And, you know, I'm not a spring chicken. I know you can tell by my gnarly hands I'm older. And I get it. There's so many things that get harder for us as we age. And I get the feeling that you might be, either your health is not great or you could have even had recently had some bad news about it, but I, I just feel like you're feeling left out in life. And that happens again to a lot of people as we age, you know, our children are busy with their lives and um, we're retired and, you know, budget's always a consideration if you're not wealthy and you don't have a lot of money to travel and do those kinds of things. So I think you are lonely and depressed. I'm really getting a, a sense of depression here with you and and she's giving me this very nostalgic feeling of you 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 thinking back on those times when you were together and you were wishing in fact kind of kicking yourself that you didn't take more of those timeouts and sit in the boat with her and row and look up at the sky and enjoy and savor those moments and she's showing me you're you're really lamenting and in fact almost punishing yourself that you didn't do that and and she's here to say no 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 and so this is the message she wants to bring to you no you had your life to live and you did what you thought was right for you at the time you made a choice because there were things that were important to you Things, different things were important to each of you, as is the case with all of us. We don't all have the same priorities in life. And I think, <clears throat> excuse me, part of the reason that you wanted to um, be successful in your career is I think you might have wanted to travel and see the world a bit. And you knew that you had to, to be able to um, afford that. And, uh, and so you were very focused on your like i said career or it could have been that during your career as part of your career you traveled a good bit but um she you know i'm just seeing that but you didn't feel in, in, in this time of life you're going back and you're second guessing and you don't feel like you had enough had balance with that throughout your life that you or kind of, again, it's kind of kicking yourself that you didn't take time out to do more fun things. And she's just trying to comfort you and say, no, you did exactly what you should have done that was right for you. Yeah, and that spirit's backing me up here saying, yes, that's the right message, yes. <clears throat> that's, um, yes, it's kind of an, un the, the, these cards can be an, un or Anyway, it can be an unwelcomed message. And so that's what she's saying, essentially, is that 
don't do that to yourself. Don't think that way because it wasn't the case. We all choose our path and for the right reasons at the right time. You know, we, we do what we think is right in the moment and then if it's not, we do something different. But she's just saying um, she sees what's going on. She sees that you have, well, I'm about to drop, drop the whole deck. One second. And that actually wanted to come out in reverse. Okay, which this deck is not reverse, so interesting. Okay. Um, and actually, as this King of Cups comes out, this card would be crossing it at the bottom. So the King of Cups are reversed and um, the Four of Swords. She wants you to focus on not, I mean, it, I just feel depression here and sadness and a lot of loneliness. And she's trying to encourage you to, to come out of that and, um, and, and heal from that. And that's what I'm seeing here. To heal from that, that you're, there's just no point in looking back and you did the right things that were right for you. You had, I feel like you had a successful career and I think you probably eventually married and um, you know, you, you had a good life and listen, we all look back and do this. I'm, I'm not chastising anyone by any stretch, but your person coming through today, this young woman is just coming through to acknowledge she sees your suffering. She's with you. She's not you know, being miles away on some planet in the other, another solar system. She's right there with you. She's beside you. She feels your suffering. She feels your heartache. Yeah, and as I said that, thank you, Spirit, for backing me up. And as I said the word heartache, the Three of Swords falls out. So, yeah, she's, she's that's just so wonderful. Thank you, Spirit, for doing that for me. That's such so nice to have that affirmation as I'm reading. But she's... Um, just recognizing how how heartbroken you're feeling right now that's the feeling i get just oops wait yeah, thank you oh, uh, this card is sliding yes thank you spirit one second yes well how okay okay i'm, I'm sorry i'm just looking at the cards at the bottom of the deck here seeing what other messages um yeah, she's just kind of reading the same message, but let me continue to say it a little bit um, differently. She's hopeful that if this message can get to you, that you will understand that she's not far away, that you and hear her message. And her message to you is, don't look back and second guess your life. I mean, she's just really adamant about this. Don't look back and second guess your life. You know, we we. This wheel of fortune turns, uh, um, and sometimes we're at the top of it, and sometimes we're at the bottom of it. And she's saying, right now you feel like you're at the bottom of it, but it never sits still. It's always turning. And if you simply will, she's saying the magic, you know, this is, you know, let into gold. The magic for you will be to see the truth of your life as good, as success, as the things that you accomplished in your life and not the one or two things or whatever you're looking back at now and feeling you did not accomplish or that you were not successful in. And that is how we achieve happiness is focusing on the positive things in our life. Being human means you're going to make mistakes or you make decisions you wish you'd done differently. That's just the human experience. But looking back at it and regretting it doesn't do any good. Instead, change your focus and focus on the positive in your life and the positive things that you've accomplished and experienced in your lifetime. Yeah, don't, don't lament and look back and fear that you didn't do enough or, um, yeah, that's, I just get a lot of fear off of that, that I didn't do enough. I wish I'd done more. I wish, you know, I'd missed out on so many things and things I didn't get to experience and things, you know, roads I didn't walk down. No, she's begging you. In fact, to, that's, I know that's a strong word begging, but that's the energy of what I'm feeling. Um, look for the happiness. Look, f if you this is like law of attraction. What you focus on, you will bring to you. 
So if you focus on this depression and the loneliness, you're just going to get more of that. If you focus on the good things and, and maybe you travel this, the world and saw lots more than most people, I get the feeling maybe, or perhaps you just had more accomplishment in, uh, than most people. In fact, I get very strongly that you were academically accomplished for someone uh, in your era, especially. So, you know, she's just encouraging you to focus on those positive things that you accomplished, that everything happens for a reason. You know, you were a bit of an entrepreneur in a time when it was um, sort of, well, it wasn't the common thing for women to do. It, you know, you, uh, you made your work, your love, so to speak, and I don't want to go too deep there. Um, you were, I, I get the feeling that you were a, um, you broke some glass ceilings even in your career. And she's saying that was important not just for you, but for a lot of other people that followed behind you. And that's what you're not saying. Wow, that's, that's a big, important message that just came through. I hope, hope you heard that. So let me just say that again. She's saying what you did, the path that you walked, the choices you made, led to opening doors for other people that you will never even know about. And that's why it was so important for you to walk the path that you did. So please don't look back. And I know that we all touch people in ways that we never, we never end up knowing about. And if we're lucky, we've made a difference in a few people's lives in a good way, even though we may never know that. She's asking that you believe that, that you just don't know how many people that you influenced by walking the path that you walked. All right, let me take a breath here. Um, let's see. Is there anything else? Oh, she's saying she sees you sometimes taking a walk. This may be a canal that I'm seeing. It's some kind of a smaller water waterway, I think. It could be a lake, but it feels like a canal, like in Europe. And she's saying, or a river, that she sees you walking along, taking walks along there sometimes. And I'm, I, well, I'm listening, one second. And yeah, and just thinking back and again, kind of having nostalgic memories and, but sadly lamenting that you didn't do more things than taking uh, pride in the things that you did do. So, She's just trying to let you know, again, that she sees what you're going through and sees uh, and feels what you're feeling. And she is there with you. She's there. So she shared in your joys and your victories in your life, even though she wasn't in the physical, she was able to do that because she's around you still. And she's saying, and we're going to be together you know, before, you know, she's not encouraging you to leave anytime soon, but she's saying that she's looking forward to seeing you and that she will see you again um, when you cross over. She'll be there to greet you is what she's saying. Okay, Whew. all right, well that is your reading for today. I hope you um, got something out of it for those of you that watched. And again, if you would please hit that like button and subscribe, I'm so very grateful. And uh, it also helps get the message out, remember, as I said in the beginning to the families that need to um, need to hear this so thank you all so much i wish you many many blessings and i'll be back soon thank you bye